Hey guys, it's Chris and Friday, 2021, 10.30 p.m. If you hear somebody meowing, it's just this guy running around being a fathead. So anyway, as you can tell, this is a PlayStation 5. This is the disc version, and I wanted to do an unboxing because these puppies are a little hard to come by right now. And I got this sucker off of face. Uh, place, market, space, you know the place, and uh, I was going to film it on my GoPro, and then I realized that the GoPro stand over here doesn't fit the tripod that I have this turd camera on. So this will be in 1080p, not 4K. I'm just going to get right to it. She's factory sealed. This is the PlayStation 5 with the disc in there, and uh, it's a very large box, as you can tell. It's about that long by that high. Play like never before, 825 gig. I don't know if that's total space, usable space. I don't know. I'm cutting the tape. Hopefully this isn't filled full of cinder blocks. But the people I got it from were seemed pretty reputable. Rep reputable. Um, looks like oh, this box. Oh. This box comes out of the outer box. So if you're a collector, you're going to want to save on these. Um, this folds down. Now, this is new to me. I've never done this before. But I wanted to do an unboxing because not a lot of people have these things. Uh, uh. All right. So inside this, it says it has a little bit of instructions to lay it down and pull this out. Okay, you get a controller, which looks like she's wrapped up pretty good. Let's take a peek at this thing. Well, that's got some some weight to it. it. Feels pretty good in the hands. I don't know. USB Type C charging block, and it's got this little thing on the bottom, I guess, where the headset would click in. Look at the Xbox had a headset. Has a microphone built in, so that's cool. You get a power cord. You get an instruction manual, several. Safety guide and a quick start guide. We don't need instructions. There are more stuff. Uh, lifting this cover up, we get a base thing. If you want to do the vertical horizontal thing, I don't know. So there's our base. Put that aside. You get an HDMI cable. Rarity these days. I'm going to plop all these materials back inside. Then uh, over here, you get a USB type C cable. Here's the meat and potatoes. Oh my goodness, she's a heavy one. Put this box down here. Two uh, plastic y, feel like egg cartons. Gosh, this is heavy. When I mean heavy, this thing is a tank. This weighs like eight 1980s VCRs heavy. Either that or a cinder block. But I doubt it. Great job on the packaging. Oh, God. Just put that there. Uh, that's the back. So there she is. She's got the shiny plastic, so it's going to be easily scratched. A couple buttons right here. I guess this is eject and power. USB original type, and then the type C, like kind. USB C would go this way, I guess. I I don't know. Um, yep. You can plug it into itself. On the back, we have two high-speed USB 3.0s, HDMI, Ethernet, and a power cord. And there's a little thingy up here. I don't know what it does, and uh, to get this to sit, I'm going to have to read the instructions. I've seen other people do this somehow, and it sits on here magically and grabs, and there's like a screw thing in here you can take out when you rotate this around, like you can rotate this thing, and there's this little screw that will go through the bottom to sit it upright. This isn't going to fit in my entertainment center. How do I get the screw out? Pop that up, I guess. Now, the bottom part, 
there's this little rubber nub right here that you can jab a knife in and take the sticker thing off which I will save and this sucker so that grabs on right here and you put the screw in that I can't do with one hand and it lines up really good and you're gonna need yourself a regular screwdriver or a quarter will do but I don't have a quarter I do have a screwdriver with some paint on it and it's the wrong size so we'll put that like right there and tighten up oh man come on and there you go you have a stand for the vertical position horizontally I believe it'll something will happen and I don't know it like does something else do you use the stand horizontally I really don't know it's probably grips in here somewhere like magic this is all like really thick plastic and it's got like some air venting on the top here that's max and that's about the unboxing so we're gonna hook this up and we're gonna get this sucker fired up and then I'm gonna put the PS4 next to it just so you can see how dinky that thing is just so we can see what's going on we're zoomed all the way out and of course we're gonna get a software update she's charging that's exactly what I did press the button English United States where Jesus lived update the system software first get the most out of your PS5 oh man update it is 868 megs and holy crap it's done well that was fast download she's plugged in ethernet I'm gigabit my internet sucks though sorry the camera angles on the like the little side a little bit but so she's restarting on an update and uh, that's when you can really tell all of the fingerprints that your kids put on your television a new version of oh my god so now it's doing the uh, controller here awesome BC Busta Cat that's me well that was easy cool transfer data from your PlayStation 4 I'll do this later and who wants to watch me download all my daggone games Welcome to the PlayStation 5. It looks really good. 4K resolution. It says 8K, but I don't have an 8K TV. So it's doing some magic in the back. I like the different textures of backgrounds. Look at the color on that, man. Let me plop this up a little bit. I know I got bright lights on in here just for filming. Maybe I can turn one off now. don't know. Try that one. All right. Now, this camera is only a 1080p camera, so it's not going to do it any justice, but trust me, she looks great. Explore. Astro's Playroom. Not worrying about it right now. PlayStation Plus. My Collection. Yep. Where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of them? Oh, this is the only ones that work? Yeah, I got like a lot of games, but they're not in here. Where are they? Tomb Raider, Creedfall. This should be in my library. Let's see how much something downloads. Let's download Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Downloading. Let me see, library. Library. My collection. Yep, there they are. Okay, so I have a couple games here. So, I've already used 164 gigs of apps. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was 25 gigs and she's already downloaded. Astro's Playroom was 11, downloaded 50 for Fallout 76. And I have 463.5 remaining. Extended storage, USB, blah, 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 blah. So the same scenario as PS4, you can put a USB 3.0 drive. It does have an NVMe slot inside for a future expansion of internal storage. I'm just going to hit this Astro's Playroom. Why not? Let's see how it looks, loads. It looks incredible. We'll see what we got. What was he doing on that bed? Did you see that? Great. 
Wow, haptic feedback on the controller. Vibrations in the center, not in the handles. Oh, yep, it's vibrating. Wow, look at these are really neat feeling. These are like you squeeze them a little bit. They have a pressure to them, like a like a spring-loaded. You squeeze them a little. You see the screen. I'm barely squeezing it, but when you squeeze it, it really feels like you're squeezing something like a like a gun trigger I guess you would describe it as like the hard pull and then the boom that is really cool touch pad motion sensor speaker built in turn it around I didn't tell you anything microphone hello The colors on this are really great. This camera, trash. I mean, this just looks great. Really looks great. This reminds me of, like Super Mario Brothers. Punch that guy in the face. Just teach you the different tasks to get the job done. Pretty neat. So, pretty neat. So, that is my quick review of the PlayStation 5 Disc Edition. Just got it off of Facebook Marketplace because here in Pennsylvania, you can't find them anywhere. And like I said, it's pretty large. This is a 65 inch 4K television. And I have this thing scooted all the way over on my crappy entertainment center. And she's just not fitting. Uh, might have to go in the back. I think there's room in the back. But anyway, that's my PlayStation 5. I hope they're available in your state. I did get this off Facebook Marketplace, like I said earlier. I paid a little bit over the retail asking price, which was $4.99. I think these are going for, if you can find them in the store. I paid a little bit more just to have it. And it's worth it to me. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you in your decision to find a PlayStation 5. It looks really great. This camera just sucks. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.